Rangi misena la kachiberu. Lerim kachizum tina cha maturu. Tiseda tigo mitsa atara in. Tiseda tisu ni denlu. Rangi lava chuse kholare gopdi kanewa kyal che. Di beule pise lewe kha. Zonam jaa chi chi. Zamlin gya khab leshe chi na tarshab jo yi mi. Titan simi chuse kholo chu. Du gya khab na le nandin be diya bhi. Disuji Gonse, Nildam Jibjang of Chilgozuki, don't touch singing a singing panabe yable, Rana Sose Omba Batindi, Jicho Chobe Yisashuni Jiba Jambachin, Timbu Tomdi Bulu, Chusekulokas and the Tandi, Dumda Chitomdi Dekojas of Hunjambachin, Lamgitalu Kelwang Dinchim Yotolo Yisashuni. Well, I name a show, I name a show. Kazazangpola and welcome to Do You Know Your Child Season 4. I'm your host, Cho. The main purpose of good parent-child relationship is to help children grow into good, mature adults. Parents play an irreplaceable role in the lives of their children. The vital role of parents impact on child's physical, mental and emotional well-being. Children having parental support are more likely to have better health as adults. Students with parent support tend to earn higher grades, have better social skills and more likely to complete secondary education. Children are more likely to have better communication skills when their parents are sensitive to their needs and emotions. Children are less likely to involve in unwanted activities such as smoking, drinking and abusing substances. Parents remain the most influential adults in the lives of children. In our last show, our participants made some commitments. Let's see how well they're doing. On the show, I promise that I will read more books. I have finished reading seven books. I said you can do it. I was. So she is doing now uh, very much uh, uh, good, uh, uh, keeping her promises. As soon as uh, we finishes our uh, program, we went back to um, our places and she started uh, referring all the books that has been gifted her from the program. And as of today, uh, she has finished around seven books. La. Over centuries, our idea of how to raise children has changed drastically. Today, corporal punishment is not common anymore. It is considered as slavery or abuse. We are more focused on emotional parenting. We try to be friends with children, talk to them openly, and try to understand their feelings. These are the strategies that we are using today. However, in the future, with the change in time and circumstances, better strategies are expected. Let's welcome our first participant. Um, my name is Balbadur. Uh, I am a teacher at Rinchen Gang Primary School, Wang Di Potrang. And I'm a family man. I have uh, two beautiful kids, one wife. And I actually decided to go to this do you know your child? Uh, only to give uh, exposure to my daughter who is quite shy. And I wanted her to go there, learn something, come home and be inspired. He's my son. His name is August Thai Wangda. August Thai Wangda because he is born on August. Thai is given by one Sikkimese Lama. Wangda is also Sikkimese Lama. And this is my daughter's, daughter's study room. It's also my altar. She is Pinky, and her long name is Aish Pinky Hadun, given by myself. This is my kitchen. La. Kitchen, quite small. And kitchen. this is, yeah, she's my beautiful wife, Dendu Pen. Uh, I married her when I was first placed in Mongerla as a teacher, 2004. 
Welcome to Do You Know Your Child. First, introduce yourself. I'm happy to be in this program. Uh, I was actually hoping to um, join this program earlier. Mm -hmm. um, owing to certain, you know, time constraint, I could not. I was actually trying to call the BBS team to accept my request. Uh, my name is Balbadur, and I work at Rinchen Gang Primary School, Wang Di Okay. And I as have a teacher. Yes, as I, a, okay. I, I am a teacher there. I teach English there, mm -hmm. and I have one son and one daughter. Okay, all right. So you said you've come here with your only daughter. Um, what kind of a girl is she? Her personality. Her personality wise well, she is very calm. Uh, she is kind. Mm -hmm. uh, she loves working by herself, and she is a little bit shy. I see. And that is the main purpose why I am trying all these uh, platforms. I see. Okay, so when you, so it seems like you're the one who convinced her to come to Do You Know Your Child, am I right? She was also interested. She, she had been um, watching this program and she loved actually this program. I see. She loved and she was actually prepared to come here. Okay, all right. So, and she didn't put up any fight because if you say she's shy, were you worried that she might not be able to speak? Or? I was a, a little worried, but I didn't give much attention to her shyness because mm -hmm. by and by, even if she makes mistakes, these are human qualities, yes, it will true. always change. Mm -hmm, that's true. Well, that's a big risk you took, and I am doubly sure that she will do just fine because we've had a lot of children who are camera shy. We've had um, more parents who are scared of the camera, but they all did fine, and I'm sure your daughter would do fi just fine too. I, I, I also hope so. <laughs> all <laughs> right. Okay. Um, I'm going to explain to you the rules of the show. Oh. I have 10 questions with me. I'm going to ask these 10 questions to you first. Then I'm going to ask these 10 questions to your daughter. We'll later tally the answers, and we'll come up with a score for you, okay? So That's are you okay. ready? La? I'm ready, la. ready with the okay. question. Well, here's your first question. What is your daughter's hobby? My daughter's hobby is to collect uh, stickers of the characters in Barbie and characters in Frozen. Question number two. What subject does your daughter have difficulty in? Uh, she has a difficulty in Zonka. Mm. Especially she is weak in spellings. So once the spelling is very poor, uh, it is really difficult for the child to write a sentence. Mm -hmm. So forget about composition and uh, longer part of the mm -hmm. uh, question. Mm -hmm. It is difficult to start the part also. I so see. spelling, she is poor okay. in Zonka. Let's go to question number three. How do you reward your child when she does well? I fulfill their expectations. As a child, she doesn't want something which is very big. Mm -hmm. She wants a little bit small, small stickers and all those things. Yeah. Whatever she uh, desires, mm -hmm. I, I, I give it. I see. And she all demands for watch and cycle. These are kiddish, but mm -hmm. we should always support them with their asking. Mm -hmm. So I give them. Fourth question then. What does your daughter want to become in life? A future tennis player. One oh. and her another is to become engineer, air hostess. Wow. Okay, so three ambitions, yes. all very different from each other. Let's go to our next question, which is, when you take her outside, what does she normally like to eat? Uh, she usually goes for um, noodles. Noodles. Okay. Noodles. Momo is her best when we go out. Okay. Question number six. What is her role number in class? Knowing role number, I gave her Aish Pinky Latin, thinking that she would be getting role number one. <laughs> and are you going to stick with role number one? And class, maybe they are segregated, separated by both male and female. Mm. Maybe her role number is, I'm not very sure, 19 or something. If it, is, if it is not role number one, then it should be somewhere just after the boy's name. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take 19, okay? I'm going to take 1 and 19. Okay. Can I do that? All right. Let's go to question number 7. When she is with you, how does she love to spend her time with you? Loves to go out and play tennis. Mm -hmm. um, she loves watching TV with okay, me because yeah. I also watch TV a lot. Question number 8. If given the choice between watching TV and playing with her friends, which one would she pick? 
playing with her friends. Okay, all right. Question number nine. Who is our best friend? Jamyang. 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 Your last question. What is her favorite fruit? Apple. Apple. Is that and a grapes. guess? <laughs> and grapes. Grapes. Apple. When I usually go to uh, this um, vegetable market, she goes for those things. Okay, all right. So you seem to spend a lot of time with her and you, uh, you know these information firsthand. You haven't asked her because you're coming to the show. Yeah. It, it seems like a lot of these uh, answers uh, have an explanation of uh, when you were spending time and she said something you recall or you... S this is like this, madam. Um, my daughter is um, diagnosed with um, seizure. Okay. She has a um, generalized chronic seizure. I see. And owing to that, I'm not supposed to leave her alone. Okay. And wherever I go, I take her, both of my ch children. Mm -hmm. I take, even if I go to some other officials, I take them. If I go for basketball, I take with them mm -hmm. anywhere I go. Even in school, I uh, most of the time, I spend time with them only. Mm -hmm. At home also, I'm not actually willing to risk keeping her at home. I see. Okay. Whenever she watches TV, she may go, go halfway to the sleep. Yeah. That time, that disease attacks her. It must be difficult for you um, being there for her 24-7 all the time. It's in school nice. and, and at home. And even at night. And I should yeah. be really vigilant because um, these two brothers, one brother and sister, they sleep together. They mm. love sleeping together. And as far as possible, I keep myself very attentive mm. whenever she turns, whenever she makes an unusual noise, mm -hmm. I have to attend to her. Oh. So, but this is a recent, recent diagnosis, okay. recent one, and I think it, it will improve with um, yoga, mm -hmm. and uh, I cut her medicines okay. that uh, for epilepsy was given, I see. and uh, that did not help her much. Mm -hmm. So I re actually, Dr. Chincho suggested mm -hmm. me to um, do away with the medicine. medicine. Now she is doing well. And oh, wow. yes. And one bad thing about that disease is you finish one sentence within one breath, mm -hmm. you'll be able to finish. But if you can't, mm -hmm. then you won't be able to remember the first one also. That problem she has. Oh, okay. uh, actually, she has a good memory. I see. Slowly she is becoming childish. And mm. they call it retardation or mm -hmm. something mm -hmm. like that. Well, well, that is a lot for you and your wife to deal with, yes. but it sounds like, I mean, I've only spent here, I don't know, 10 minutes with you, and it sounds like you have a very well-informed family um, about children, about parenting, and of course about, uh, I'm sure you've researched about the um, diagnose, uh, yes. diagnosis yes. Uh, that was made recently, and it is very helpful for parents to be aware of what they have in their hands. and. Um, I take my hats off for you Thank for being you. such a supportive dad and uh, you knew your daughter was shy yet you wanted yes. to um, have a face the camera and provide this challenge in front of uh, her because you know there's going to be bigger challenges. Yes, so that congratulations on that. Thank you and so much. You're welcome and with that we are going to have your daughter here and we're going to see how good of a father you really are. Okay? Oh. All right. <laughs> just finished talking with the father we now have the daughter with us hello hello ma'am um why don't you introduce yourself first i'm ash pinkelhaden and i study in richland primary school i am class five and that's it okay all right Tell me about your family. Who's in your family, Ash? In my family, my there's my brother, mm -hmm. my mother, and my father. So tell me about your brother. He is naughty, but I like her style. Mm -hmm. Doing naughty, and he is good in studying oh. ca cars. Cars. Okay. Wow. You you know he's naughty. But you love him anyways because you're his elder sister and that's very sweet of you. I, sh I asked your dad 10 questions, okay? okay I'm going to ask you these 10 questions. But just let me tell you, all your answers would be correct. 
So you get 10 out of 10 already, okay? It's your father's score that we're going to find out later. All right? Okay. Are you ready? Yes, ma'am. Are you nervous? Yes, ma'am. Yes? Just a little bit? Yes, ma'am. It's all right. Don't worry. You do fine. You're doing just fine. You're doing excellent, actually, okay? Okay, ma'am. All right. Your first question. What are your hobbies? My hobby is to collect Barbie and Frozen sticker. Oh, okay. Any other hobbies you have? No, ma'am. No, okay. You brought the book with you, yes, right? Do you want to show it to us? Yes. Okay, all right. Here, you can show it to us. Show it to Okay, you want to give it to me? I'll take it. All right. Wow, this is a thick book. And we have Elsa and Anna. Wow, this is... Am I supposed to... Oh, oh wow, complicated. Did you make this yourself? Yes, ma'am. Wow, you are so creative. Oh, look at this. It opens up. Oh, so these are the stickers you're talking about. Wow, that's a lot though. Do you have it? Woo. All right. And these are Barbie stickers you're talking about? Yes. Ah, wow. Thank you so much for bringing this and sharing with us and showing us your beautiful collection. Let's go to question number two. How many subjects in school do you have? Five subjects. Five, okay. And uh, which of the five subjects do you find um, really difficult? Zonka. Zonka? Okay. How would your father reward you? He will give me a surprise gift. Oh, okay. He'll give you <laughs> gifts. And sometimes when you say, Dad, I want stickers, does he give it to you? Yes, ma'am. Well? Yes? Okay. Wow. All right. <laughs> um, question number four. When you grow up, what do you want to become? I want to become a tennis player. A tennis player. Question number five. When you go outside with your family, what do you like to eat? Mm -hmm. Question number six. What is your role number in class? Ten. Ten. Okay. Question number seven. What is your favorite thing to do with your father? Mm. To watch television. You like watching television. If I give you the option of saying, Aish, you can watch TV or you can go play with your friend, which one would you do? I will play, ma'am. You will play with your friends? Friends, yes. Okay, all right. Question number nine. Who is your best friend? My best friend is Jermaine Finso Dema. Okay. Your last question. What is your favorite fruit? My favorite fruit is watermelon. Ooh, watermelon. Okay. Any other fruits you enjoy eating? Mm, mango. Mango, watermelon? Orange. An orange. Okay. Well... Aish, you've answered all the 10 questions. We will now find out what your dad's score is, okay? All right. What is your daughter's hobby? Uh, stickers of Barbie and Frozen sticker. What subject does your daughter have difficulty in? Zonka. Zonka. How do you reward your child when she does well? I fulfill their expectations. A surprise gift. What does your daughter want to become in life? A future tennis player. I want to become a tennis player. When you take her outside, what does she normally like to eat? Momo is her best. Momo. What is her role number in class? I'm not very sure, 19 or something? 10. When she is with you, how does she love to spend her time with you? Watching TV with me. To watch television. If given the choice between watching TV and playing with her friends, which one would she pick? Playing with her friends. I'll play with Who is her best friend? Jamyang. Jamyang since a day. What is her favorite fruit? Apple. Watermelon. I have your dad's score with me. Aish, you got 10 out of 10. You know that, right? You did excellent. Let's find out your dad's score now. But before that, let's take a look at the questions your dad wasn't able to answer correctly. The first question was your roll number. 
Appa thought your roll number was 19. He took a guess. But your roll number is? 10. You found out about that information now, so that's good. The other question was her favorite fruit. Appa said you enjoyed apple and grapes, but you went with watermelon, mango, and orange. Appa does, doesn't get any points because he said apple and grapes. So no points for that. And with that, your upper score is 8 out of 10. That's a great score, I think. Are you happy? Yes, ma'am. What about you, love? Are you happy with it? I'm happy, but uh, with regard to her favorite fruit, it was, yes, watermelon. <laughs> Whenever I brought watermelon uh, home, they loved eating, <laughs> watching German. You know, that they used to finish two or three kgs at a time. <laughs> Oh, but sometimes it's, yeah. this show doesn't, especially the score really doesn't mean anything because a lot of the times yes. things that when we're sitting with different people, we think of different things and we forget some things, right? Yeah. So you, you knew that, but uh, you knew what she enjoyed watermelon, but you didn't think of it. So that is just fine. Which is why we always say the scores don't really matter. We just want to encourage an open dialogue between mm -hmm. the parent and the child. And I'm just so glad to have both of you here. And you both seem to understand the importance of the show and the objective that Do You Know Your Child stands for. All right, 8 out of 10. Congratulations for that beautiful score. Very good. Both of you. Now we are going to go to our next segment, which is the commitment segment. I would like to provide necessary resources for the development and the growth. Okay, all right. Of your daughter. So your dad is saying, for example, if you are having, you use, uh, your dad and you, you both acknowledge that you have trouble with Zonka, right? And he has given you the necessary uh, help that you need to do well in Zonka, right? So just like that, he's going to provide you with the support, with the time, I'm sure, with the tools and equipment that you need. If you want to be a tennis player, he's going to get you the tennis gears. Amen? Basically what he's saying is that he's going to support you in all the dreams and aspirations and ambitions that you have in life, okay? All right. With you, my dear. Appa, your Appa has given me three commitments. I just want you to pick one and you can give the paper to me. I'll read out your commitment from there, okay? All right. Pick one. I'll take that from you. And your Appa says, participate more. And this came actually came up um, when I was talking to your Appa. He thinks you are shy. I think you're a very confident girl inside. You know what you like. You know what you don't like. You just um, you just take time to open up to people, and but I just met you and you have done so well. You have talked so comfortably. You've opened up, and I'm just so proud to be sitting like in front of you and talk about all these questions and answers. And I don't think you're shy. I think you just take time to open up, which is completely fine. There's nothing wrong in that, okay? But your upper wants you to be actively involved in any activity at school, outside school, because you know what? When you take part more often, you get you are open to more opportunities, okay? So you learn more, okay? Open up. Do you think you can do that? Yes, ma'am. Yes, see, that's a very confident yes. I'm really, really glad to hear that yes. And do you think you can try and participate more? Yes, ma'am. Yes, okay, all right. Good. Let's go to our next segment, which is with love. Dear Bumo Pinky, I write this letter to tell you how your dad feels for you. First of all, I would like to say that there is no greater asset to me than you and your brother, August. I really love you. You may have felt that your dad is not helping with your homework, but I do that to make you independent girl. 
Later you will not need any support. You will grow by yourself into a beautiful, intelligent, brave and self-working woman. Father will be there behind observing and feeling happy with your progress, failure, growing and in the making. Dear Bumo, I am hoping you to, you to soon start waking early in the morning and serving nice tea to your parents. You will be my answer to every part of my life. Work hard, make less complaint, live well and try to do whatever you do with less dependence to people near you. With love, your dad. Wow, all right. Your dad said so many things in that short letter. I'm going to take that letter. All right, he really banks on you. He is putting his hopes and dreams all on you and your brother. And um, I'm going to take this letter for a minute and I'm going to do something special to this letter, okay? Dear Dad, you are my idol. There is no one greater than you to me. I really love you. I will study hard and one day I will make you proud. I love you, my dad. We love your dad. Alright. Okay, here. I'm going to take that letter too. With this, we have come to the last segment, which is where I get to give you lots of gifts. Do you like gifts? Yes. If you don't like gifts, I, I will just take it back. <laughs> Do you like it? Yes. Okay, all right. The first gift that I have for you, all the way from Thimpu, is... Um, what is this? A watch. A watch. All right, okay. And this is a watch from Titan. It's all the way from Thimpu just for you for coming to do you know your child and being a very beautiful and a very active participant on do you know your child. So this is for you and in addition to that, to the watch, we have a um, couple of books. The first book that I'm giving to you is Coming Home by Pema Yudin. This is written, to, uh, written by a young girl, Bhutanese girl, okay? And I want you to read this and Use this as an inspiration to go get your dreams. Achieve your dreams early on. Don't wait for you to be old, okay? The other thing, um, other two books are by Tashi Pem, How Old is Pema and My Friend Tashi. These are both autographed by the author. The other book, um, very popular book on this show is His Majesty Jimmy Singye Wangchuk, The Fourth Jugelpo, The King Who Gave Everything. Mm. This is also an autographed copy by the author, okay? We have The Egg in the Orchard by Louise Doji. And we have a couple of books from Ministry of Education just for you and your little brother, okay? Yeah. Um, the final gift that I have for you is priceless. And I'm just... I. I I've given a lot of letters away and I, I'm just glad I always get to be seated here doing this because this is mo most of the time when I'm giving this particular present away, this is the first letter that their father has ever written to them. And I'm guessing for you this is true too? Yes. Okay. So I framed your first ever uh, letter from your father and I want you to take this home and take good care of it. Yes. Okay? Yes. All right. And with that, I want to thank you so much, Aish, for gathering all the courage you need to come on this show. And, but I didn't see you struggle or put too much effort into looking nonchalant because you looked so beautiful and you looked so confident. So always, like your dad says, participate more, try to volunteer for things, okay? Yeah. All right, so thank you both for thank coming. Thank you so much, madam. It's very important to spend time with your children and there is no shortcut to repairing problematic relationships. You have to spend some time and communicate with your children as much as you can. Come back next week and if you'd like to be a part of the show or if you have any suggestions or feedback, please email us at parenting at bbs.bt. Thank you and bye-bye.
Rangi misena la kachiberu. Lerim kachizum china chama turu. Tiseda chigo mitsangatara in. Tiseda chisuni denu. Rangi lava chuse kolore gopi kanewa kelche. Di beule pise lebeka. Zonam ja chichi. Zamling ya kabla shichi na tarshab joi mi. Titan simi chuse kolore su. Du ya kabla le nandin bedi ebi. This is the same thing. The same thing is that 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 the same thing is Do my food well.